Do you like mysteries? If you do, I have something special planned for you. I'm going to do a mystery deck lottery. And the way to enter is by simply purchasing a reading from the $30 category on my website. That's the bronze tier. If you're interested, just check out the description below. Click on the link and purchase a reading from the brown steer and you're automatically part of the lottery for the mystery deck. You can read the details about it below in the description section. Now, let's focus on you. What's been going on? How have you been? Let's see if we can make a connection with your subconscious. Let's see if we can find out what's been bothering you. Why you've been feeling down. Why you've been feeling like you're losing motivation. Let's see what's going on. What is blocking you? What is between you and your ideal life? And if you've been feeling kind of slow and sluggish, tired lately, it's okay. It's completely normal, especially if you're living somewhere extremely warm. The warm weather really takes a lot out of you. So it's completely expected that you are slowing down a bit. Don't worry about it. But we're going to use this reading as an opportunity to find out more about your situation. Perhaps there's something going on on a soul level that is contributing to your lack of motivation. Let's see, let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say. Six of Pentacles. When I say reciprocity, what do you think of? How does that make you feel when you hear that word? Does it carry a positive or a negative undertone? The Six of Pentacles is mostly referred to as a more neutral card. It's in between positive and negative. And what it really means is it refers to this very rudimentary dynamic which is genetically engraved within our species the dynamic of reciprocity and a transactional uh, modus operandi, if you will. So the way we go about in the world is we sort of expect to receive in return for our investments. And this extends to all aspects of life, starting from business to more intimate relationships, friendships, romantic relationships. We are expecting a return on our investment. And when you experience a crucial lack of motivation to contribute 
when there's a drop in your productivity, it might be due to you disconnecting from this social construct. You perhaps being disappointed, not receiving back in the same way you've been giving. You simply detaching yourself from this very transactional uh, practice. So you might lose the motivation to be there for others, to contribute to society, even to take care of you sometimes when you enter into the domain of uh, depression, perhaps more in clinical terms than in a casual uh, terminology. So when you get depressed, you lose your motivation to take care of yourself even. And so there's this disillusionment that I think the cards are picking up on here, the disillusionment of I've been contributing and it's not working out, the system is broken. So let's see what can be done to reinvigorate and to reinstate your belief in the system. Is that even the right way to think about it or is there another alternative solution? Let's see what the cards are saying. Whether we should abandon this paradigm perhaps or temporarily ignore it. Let's see what the cards have to say. And we have the Emperor. You need to be really strict here, it seems like. The Emperor is asking you to rebuild your relationship with others. It's asking you to keep participating. The Six of Pentacles is a reality that is impossible to ignore. It's a reality of life and a social paradigm that is unavoidable and you cannot not participate anyway. So the Emperor is saying, stick to the game. The game itself is not broken, but people around you, maybe. And you yourself, perhaps, are not playing the game in the most efficient way. So the Emperor is redirecting your attention to the rules, the structure, the uh, social consent that goes into these self-sustaining systems that the Six of Pentacles is referring to. These systems of interdependence where the individual might be uh, encouraged to give up some of his individuality in return for protection and stability. And so the Emperor is saying more disciplined action and more uh, strict requirements on your part when it comes to what you can get from other people is the best way to move forward. There's perhaps a desire, a temptation to let all of it go, to extract yourself from it. But these two cards are telling me that that's unfortunately not possible. And the only way to go forward is to become 
more consistent. Let's say you have this problem of disillusionment because your friends are not contributing to the friendship the same way that you do or, or how you would express or, or accept, expect rather, sorry about that. So your expectations and the investment that they are providing, they do not meet. Now, there are two things that you can do here. First, revise your expectations. Uh, are you acting entitled, perhaps? Are you asking for too much? Be very specific and very strict about reevaluating your own contributions and whether those contributions are truly valuable to those people and if the answer is yes and you're still not receiving uh, the same energy back then it is time to set very clear boundaries it's time to draw a line and not allow others to take advantage of you because that could be a source of fatigue and that could be um, a factor that drains your energy when you feel powerless in the face of exploitative behaviors. The Emperor is encouraging you to set very clear very objectively uh, um, structured rules as to how the friendship works. And this could be something that you bring to those friends, to those colleagues, to the people that you are seeking to establish a symbiotic uh, community with. And if they are not aligning with uh, the rules, the expectations that you have all agreed upon, that's a breach of trust. And there's no obligation on your part to stay within those situations. There's no obligation for you to force yourself to stay in a system that does not nurture you, that does not help you. So the Emperor is asking you to put your foot down and be very clear and very specific about your demands, about what you want, what you need. And as soon as you catch people not um, respecting your boundaries and not contributing to reflect your efforts then it's time to perhaps break contact and look for establishing a new empire because you are the emperor you are the one who decides the flow of your life, ultimately. You are the one that constructs future situations by your current actions. So I hope that you enjoy this reading. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy it, or if you enjoyed it, um, subscribe to my channel, like this video, or leave a comment, or do all of those things. Thank you.